right now. It's two-time welterweight champion Amir Khan. Hi, I'm Amir. Thank you. Good to see you. So, ten questions. First question: If you have a dream fight, who would you fight with, and what's the scenario? Um, I'd love to fight someone like Muhammad Ali, even though he's my hero. Just to see how good he really was, you know, how quick he was, and how big he was, and how how good his footwork was. Um, and the, the scene would be somewhere like Rumble in the Jungle, you know, where you had thousands of people there, and it was outdoor. Second, what's your inspiration? What keeps you going? Now, what keeps me going? You know, my family, man. I mean, you know, my, my little girl, Lamaisa, who was just born this year, um, you know, has motivated me a lot and inspired me to work hard, train hard. And obviously, I want to be the best at what I do. I want to work hard, I want to become a champion, and a guy who's always remembered as a great champion. So that's what keeps me going. Who's your favorite fighter aside from yourself? Um, favorite fighter, um, Muhammad Ali. And also, I uh, like the likes of like Trigger like, Leonard and Tom Hearn. Favorite city in the world? In London. Favorite food? I think with fish and chips, very British. Uh, malt vinegar, yeah? With it, salt and vinegar, yeah. <laughs> Good choice. Your favorite designer? I thought you could mind Favorite thing to do when you're not fighting? Uh, probably eat, because obviously when you're training and you're not fighting, you have to watch the weight and watch what you eat. So obviously I like to binge and eat what I want. How do you keep fit? I mean, you eat a lot. Yeah. Train very hard, man. Train very hard. Push myself even hard, harder than most people. Um, and just stay in there, just train, train, train. How do you prepare for a fight? To prepare for a fight, I watch a lot of videos of my opponent. Um, obviously, um, sleep on time, eat the right food, be on a very strict diet and just train very hard, obviously spar a lot as well, have great sparring partners and stuff. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a hard working fighter, man. I mean, I love working hard and support for my patients. I always loved being a boxer, training and stuff, but I never ever thought I'd get this far. I had the dream of being, being in this position one day, but obviously um, not knowing it comes this quick. It comes very quick for me, I mean, at the age of 17 life changed. I just couldn't walk the streets no more and all that and all that. I was only a kid still. So I missed my youth, you know, my teenagers, I missed it all because of life just changed. But now, you know, I'm kinda of getting used to it now. I'm enjoying it as well. I do a lot of charity work myself at my own Amicom Foundation, so I go to travel around hands on and get things you know, get get involved in things hands on. I don't like just giving money and let someone do something. I wanna get involved in myself. And more stuff. So that keeps me humble. Also, my parents and friends are very supportive, but very, you know, taught me a lot in life, and also get my feet, my, get my feet on the ground as well. I still now and then get a clip around the ear if I'm not in the head by my mom. So that keeps me feet on the ground. Thank you, my parents. Uh, thank you so much. Thanks Just, to your parents. Yes, thank you very much for all the support, and um, so with my next fight, 2015 is going to be a big year for me, and um, yeah, let's hope we can get the big fights like the likes of. Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, you know, we are friends, but obviously friends are fighting sometimes, the business. But I want to give the fans the biggest fight they want to, they want to see this year. And thank you very much for all the support. And thank you. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man.